Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about my Sean Hudson collection. This is nowhere near all of his stuff. This is probably just a small fraction of his work. And I thought I would just show you them and talk about them as much detail as I possibly can. And yeah, I thought it would be a fun little video, really really laid back type of video. I've only read two of his work, so when I get to them, I will mention them and I'll have a link down below to that videos in case you want to check out them videos about them books. But for those of you who aren't aware about, about, who, about who Sean Hudson is, he is a horror writer, but he does write other stuff as far as I can tell. He has written crime, there's a war story in here as well, and he has written under numerous names also. I'm always checking on eBay to see if there's any good deals on Sean Hudson books or anything that's going to grab my attention. There is one that is kind of eluding me called the um, Chainsaw Massacre or something along them lines. It's, a, it's an extremely rare book, and every time I see it, it's always for a ridiculous price. But I'm always in the hope of finding it at a decent price. So yeah, with all that out of the way, let's just go straight to the collection. This isn't going to be in any type of order, and I will try to say a little bit about these books if I know what they're about. And yes, I do buy Sean Hudson books without knowing anything about them. So the first one is a war collection. And this is, has got three stories in it. I don't read war stories, but I saw this on eBay and it was written by Sean. And I thought, okay, why not? Yeah, it might it actually might be um, interesting. So the first one is called No Survivors, Forged in Fire and Taken by Force. So I'll be really interested to see if I actually like these stories and the subject matter of reading a war story. Next one is a duplicate that I have and that is Captives and this was in a haul. Um, I couldn't really get around not buying it because it was in a collection that a seller was selling on eBay. Don't know much about this story. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's set in a prison and has maybe some experiments on the inmates within that prison. But when I do a giveaway, I will be including this one in it. I'm planning to do a like a mystery box type of thing. Next one is called Necessary Evil. I'm not sure about this. I believe it has something to do with a group of criminals that find something that they're not really expecting to find. And, you know, <laughs> I'm not really sure. But I think it has something to do with the London Underground or something like that because of the background. But I'm not really sure about what this story is about. But, yeah, that's the fun. So, Necessary Evil. This next one I've had my eye on for a while as I've seen it always in hardback but I found it in paperback. And that is Warhol's Prophecy. And this... Because I saw this in a interview that Sean was doing on YouTube. And this is a account of the death of Sharon Tate, which was one of Charles Manson's victims. So I'm really excited to read this and to see what else it has to offer. Next is Stolen Angels. I don't know a thing about this um, story. But it was in a haul that was being sold on eBay. So yeah, Stolen Angels. Next is Lucy's Child. Again, don't know anything about this story. It might have something to do with a mother and a infant. Not really sure. Maybe a... Um, I wouldn't say good omens, but you know, the, uh, the um, omen with Damien and... The Antichrist so hopefully he doesn't go the same route but yeah who knows next one is twins of evil and surprise surprise don't know anything about this story 
But yeah, I thought the cover looked interesting. Uh, with the um, flaming cross in the middle of the twins. And at the bottom it says, Beautiful, Cursed, Deadly. So yeah, Twins of Evil. This next one is one that I am probably going to read really soon. This is probably going to be the next one that I'm going to be reading. And that is The Tainted Souls. And this is co-written with Matt Shaw. And come on, let's just have a look at that. Come on, can we please have more pictures like this for um, authors that are co-writing a book? I mean, that is a fantastic idea, like splitting their images and putting them into one image. I'm not sure what this is about. What I do know about this book is that it was written during the original lockdown. So I'll be interested to see what I make of this story. I have no idea who Matt Shaw is. So I have no idea if I will actually like his work or his writing style or his form of storytelling. But with that said, I am extremely excited to read this. I might read this one really soon, but this will probably be one of the next Sean Hudson books that I pick up. So next is Deadhead. Now I have done a whole video on this. This was the most recent book that I have read by Sean. And this is about a detective that uncovers this underground adult film industry that is making all this extreme porn and selling it overseas. And it also deals with prostitution and people living on the streets. Um, as I said, I will have a link down below in case you want to check out my thoughts on it in more detail, but I really enjoyed it. It was a really fun book. So let's go to the other book that I read by Sean and that was the first one I ever became aware of him and that is Erebus. I got this one through my subscription box which is called the Abominable Book Club box and this came with it. I think at that time I didn't know who Sean Hudson was but I liked the cover despite the fact that the title is a bit worn I might try to keep an eye out to see if I can actually find another copy of Erebus in a more better condition. So this is about a small farming community that is introduced to this new feed that they give to their cattle and it makes them turn into flesh-eating, blood-drinking monsters. It's kind of like a cross between a zombie and a vampire. And when the people of the town eat this contaminated meat, then they too become these creatures. They're not mindless. They do have a mind and thoughts of their own. They do have an intelligence and they can speak as far as I can remember. But this revolves around a small group of individuals that are in this town and they have to survive. This was a fantastic book. It really was. Probably better than Deadhead, but Deadhead was still good, but Erebus was really good. And you may be thinking, what does Erebus mean? Does it have a meaning in the book? Yes, it does. Erebus does have a meaning within this book. I won't say what it is, but it is mentioned in this book and it does have a purpose. Next is a Omnibus collection. And this one I actually got also with my Bonneville Book Club box. And this has three stories in it, or three novels. These aren't short stories. These are proper novels by Sean. And they are called Relics, Spawn, and Shadows. And this has all three of the novels in it. When I pick this thing up, I will not be cherry-picking and saying, oh, I'm only going to read Spawn. I'm going to be reading the whole thing back-to-back, -back, all three stories back-to-back. -back. I'm not sure about what all these stories are about. I'm not sure what Relics or Shadows is about. So what I can tell by Spawn is that it's about a man that reanimates deceased fetuses. And I'm not sure what he does with them. Maybe they're his servants or his pets. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the Omnibus collection of Relics, Spawn and Shadows. You can buy these individually. Next one is called Renegades, and let's just have a look at that cover. That is awesome. I'm not sure if you can pick that up well on camera, so I'm not 
sure what this story is about. As I said, maybe it has got something to do with religion because of the um, window on the front of the book. But yeah, extremely excited to actually read this. As they call it, devil at the top as well, or a demon. So that's really cool. Next we have is Assassin. This is probably going to be the next book that I'm going to be reading after Tainted Souls. As far as I can tell by this book, or understand, it's about reanimated criminals. Yeah, zombie criminals. Yeah, um, so that sounded awesome. I mean, look at that cover. I know it's only a zombie hand holding a gun, but yeah, it's very simplistic and effective. And it makes you think, oh, what's that about? So, yeah. Assassin. Really excited about this one. Next we have is another Omnibus collection and this has two stories in it which is Captives and one called Breeding Ground. Now Breeding Ground is a sequel to Sean's first book called Slugs. So if you haven't read Slugs, um, so I presume you have to actually read them in order. So before I get to Breeding Ground, I will read Slugs first, which is a short book anyway. And then I will be going on to Breeding Ground. I'll probably do them back to back. Next, I actually got another duplicate that I didn't realize I had, and that is another copy of Necessary Evil. So when I do a giveaway where I do a mystery box type of thing, well, not a mystery box, you know, a box full of books, but I will tell you what they are. I will include this one in it and this last one is another short story collection and this is the cover it has kind of like glowing red eyes i'm not sure if you can pick up well on camera but this has three stories in it which is called the abduction the visitation and come the night so yeah as far as i can tell by um a sean hudson fan that i was talking to online or a buddy of mine online is that the story called the Chainsaw Massacre or whatever the title is. There is a kind of a story in this that inspired that story. But the one that is in this is a more watered down, less interesting version. But I'm still excited to read all these stories. Uh, when I pick this up, I'm going to be reading all these yeah, at once. I believe that these are just short stories. I don't think that these are full blown novels, but I could be wrong. So that's it guys, that is my collection of Sean Hudson books. Hopefully this has been entertaining for you guys. It was interesting for me to go through these books as I've become really interested and hooked on Sean's writing style. As once again, I know that what he writes is not the most classy things ever. They're not, they're not the most sophisticated and educational books ever. But what they are is extremely violent, extremely entertaining, that are full with characters that you fall in love with and you want to see what happens to them. Of course, if there are any books in this video that you want me to read sooner then i will bump them up on the list let me know if you've heard of any of these books let me know if maybe i've inspired you to pick up sean hudson i've only read two of his stuff but i'm sure there's something out there that i'm going to be picking up and i'll be thinking this is complete rubbish i mean what were you thinking sean so guys yeah that's all i had to really say this was a really laid back type of video i didn't know how it was going to go or how long it was going to go on for but hopefully you have been entertained by this that's all i want for you guys to actually be is be entertained by these videos so yeah with all that out of the way have a great day read some awesome books and i will see you all in my next video